Hey guys, welcome back. Today's one is a Pinterest inspired DIY wooden crate project. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I turned this into this, then go ahead and keep on watching. So I wanna start off by saying that I did get these wooden crates for free, thanks to my mom at my job. And she also did help me along with my husband to sand these down because they were a little rough. But you can find similar ones at any craft store. For example, I've seen them at Hobby Lobby. And if you do get them there, you wouldn't have to do this step, but we did have to do this just to make sure that the surface was nice and smooth for us to paint over it. So for the eight crates, we needed a total of three pints of paint and that was going over it twice just to make sure that we didn't miss any spots, that it was extra white and that we got every nook and cranny. Right here my husband is just hammering down the crates with some nails. I will leave the type of nails that he used down in the description below just so you guys can find them because it was hard at first because we got some nails that were too thick and they split the wood and then we got some that were ripe they were too short so these they ended up being perfect and they got the job done. Now with the same nails, my husband is hammering down the plywood. I really don't know what type of plywood we got, but we got it at Home Depot. And then honestly, I don't know what happened with our measurements, but it ended up being crooked. But at the end, I am going to stain the wood. So I ended up just making sure that it was even up front. And then the back part that was missing wood, I just stained it as well. Now I'm just finishing up by staining the plywood. I will leave the type of stain that I used in the description box below. I really like this because I feel like it added a whole nother type of character to the shelves if that makes any sense. And you will also see later on that I did end up dripping some stain on the front part of our crates. 
but my husband is just gonna go over it with some leftover white paint tomorrow i don't know how that's gonna end up looking but whatever happens i'm not even mad at it it's our first diy and i'm just happy that we finished it and then you will also see that i ended up staining the back part that was missing wood and it honestly doesn't even look bad it looks like it belongs there so it's not that bad also shout out to my sister-in-law francis because she ended up flashing the light at me because we finished a little bit too late and it was dark outside so thanks girl and also thanks to my husband because he nailed everything together and then he ended up recording this scene where i'm staining the plywood so thanks my love So that is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed our first DIY and shout out to everyone who helped me with this project and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!